Hey everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have an iPhone X, aka iPhone 10, and we're going to show you how to add and remove keyboard languages from this device. So this is not how to change the system language. We have a separate video for that. So go check that out if you uh, have any questions on how to do that. In this case, it's how to add additional keyboards. So you want to go to Settings, and then go down to General, which is this gear here and uh, you'll see basically keyboard is one of the options. Uh, that's different than, uh, as I said, the system language, which you can change here under language and region. So in this case, we're going to go to keyboard and uh, you have an option of keyboards. So uh, you can basically add new keyboards to this. So let's say I want to add uh, maybe Japanese. So these are the ones that are actually set as my system language preferences. Um, and then you can obviously pick a whole bunch of other ones. So we can choose Japanese, but let's just see if it's down here. You want to note that uh, if a language is up in that top list, it actually doesn't show up here. So you might be hunting around for it. And if you can't find it, make sure you double check in the suggested keyboards. So here is Japanese and uh, you get a choice in many of these cases about how you want to type it in. So in this case, we'll do Romanji, which is uh, the Latin keyboard uh, for typing Japanese. So do that. And uh, now you can see it's here. And if you want to edit the uh, order that these appear in, so basically the order when you're swapping keyboards, go uh, just click on these bars here and you can change the order. And so uh, let's do done. You can also add multiple keyboards for the same language. So in this case, this is traditional Chinese handwriting. Let's try adding traditional Chinese and then we get all kinds of different uh, methods of doing it. Do you want to do it with handwriting? Do you want to do it with uh, pinyin, which is like a phonetic alphabet or other kinds of stroke methods? So let's just do QWERTY pinyin. So you can do multiple ones. You can't deselect here. You have to actually erase it separately. But uh, anyway, let's add an extra one here. And now we see that we have traditional Chinese pinyin. And uh, if you click on this, you can choose between the different pinyin methods that were shown before. And so now if you want to change the order, you have to go to done and you can drag these around. So let's do that as our first choice and we're done. And so let's take a quick look at this. So just go up here and uh, bring up a keyboard. So now you can see the keyboard layout here. Uh, note that because this is an iPhone X, it's rather than being that little bar here and the home button here, they sort of have this extra real estate that they put to some good use and you can choose the language and you can see uh, the name of the keyboard show up as you type it. So that's Japanese and here's emojis obviously and now back to UK English. And also if you hold it down you get all the choices as well in a selectable menu. And if you want to add keyboards or take them away you can just hold this down and it goes back to the keyboard area and then you of course you have all those other options which we didn't even look at before. But basically if you want to add and remove them you can do that here. So that's basically how you do it. So let's just show in uh, let's say Chinese. Let's do uh, Ni Hao Ma, which shows up here. And as you can see, once I select the character, the characters have shown up there. So that's basically how you enter uh, in a foreign language, in this case Chinese. If you guys have any questions on this, uh, do let us know. That's the basics at least. Uh, there's tons and tons of options, so check those out on your own. But uh, that should be enough to get you started. If you have any questions, uh, do leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. See you guys next time here on Howtex. Bye. And push firmly and then pull this guy out gently. And again, make sure that you have the phone pointed face up. Uh, you don't want this thing to fall out on the floor.